hello guys welcome to our youtube channel so this is the first video where we'll be going to implement the integration between service now and gemini ai so gemini ai is kind of chat gpt it is provided by the google so before actually jumping into the implementation let's understand what basic integration is so integration allows you to exchange or movement of data from one application to another application or in in other words it enables or establishes a connection between two or more applications so that they communicate with each other so there are two types of integrations which is inbound and outbound so let's take an example of jira and a service now let's suppose you we have an integration between service now and jira now we have created one agile story in service now and we want that same story should be created into the jira instance so where service now is making a call to the jira instance and requesting to create a same record so that is an outbound call where service now is trying to make a connection with the jira if you consider it as a vice versa where you have a jira instance you have created some bugs and you wanted to create an incident from that bugs into the service now so that means you are requesting a service now so that is an inbound call for service now and outbound call for jira so that is a basics of integration so let's jump into the implementation so uh, in order to start with the implementation the very important thing we'll have to create a rest messages so i'll go to the rest message and i'll click on new i'll have to provide the name which is demo underscore gemini underscore ai oh now i'll provide a description this is for demo purpose purposes now you can see that the mandatory mandatory sign so endpoint is very very important so this endpoint is going to request with the api so that endpoint will help you to get or retrieve information from the server so uh, this endpoint you can easily get it from the api documentation i'll provide the link it into the description so i have already pasted it in my notepad just copy and use the same i'll provide the endpoint now here very important thing so this is your endpoint which is 1. Gemini 1.5 flash generate content. Now in the key, the very important thing, you will have to provide it your own API key and how you can get that API key, you will have to navigate to the Google Gemini, Google AI Studio. I'll open this link. I have already logged in, you, you need to log in. And you'll click on get API key. So as of now, I have already created an API key for myself. You can see that you will have to cl click on create API key. The moment you'll click on create API key, uh, you can you need to just create a project and you can easily retrieve the API key. Now come back to this rest message. So I'll just save it. So you can see that under the authentication type no authentication is required just because we have already provided our api key in the query parameters now see http method has created so by def out of the box it have five methods which is default which is get post patch put and delete now default get is created automatically by default so we don't need to do anything with this method because our service now instance is going to make a call to Gemini. So that means should be a post call. So I'll click on new and I'll create one more method, which is a post method. So I'll provide the name, which is demo Gemini underscore post. I'll change the method to post. And again, I'll have to provide the same endpoint. I'll provide the endpoint and I'll click on save. Now, if I come, if I, uh, see this section under the authentication you can see that authentication type is inherit from parent again we have already provided the api key so if i come back to this http request section the very important thing which is content content is the processing payload so that that content or the payload should be processed by your ai to get some informational responses 
so I need to provide the content I have already copied it in my notepad so I'll just paste it now here this dollar text you can see that so this is as of now dynamic so what I will do is I'll just remove it just for testing purpose and I'll try to give some static prompt which is what is the capital of India I'll just save it now I need to test whether it is working as expected or not so I just click on test you can see that I got the HTTP status 200 mean it got successful now if you see under the responses which is the capital of India is New Delhi so it means we have created rest message successfully now I'll have to make that content dynamic so in order to uh, make that content dynamic I just need to provide the doll curly braces dollar symbol and text and I'll save it now what I need to do I will create one table and in that table I'll be creating two fields which is input and output so in the input field I'll be providing my prompt and that prompt uh, would be processed by the Google AI and it will come back with the response so I'll go to the table section I'll go to the table section under the system definitions I'll open this I'll click on new and I'll provide the name which is demo underscore Gemini underscore AI I, I just create new click on save I'll save it You can see there so uh, by default six fields six six autosys fields has been created so what i need to i'll just create my own fields which is input type should be string i'll utilize this and i'll provide the length of 60. another field would be output same in the string save it and here I'll provide the length of 2000 just because so that I can get the enough response from the API I'll save it now you can see that we have created these these two fields I'll just click on show form you can see that input and output field so now what we are going to do is we'll create one UI action we'll create one script include will now call that script include via the UI action so why we are creating a script include script just to pull the response from the rest messages you can see that if you're not uh, very much fond of creating scripts you can just utilize this related link which is preview script usage the moment you click on preview script usage you will get the script so it's same script you just need to utilize it let me show you my script I have already created the script include I'll open it you can see that so this uh, this is my script include where I have created a demo test function and I'll be calling that function via the by my UI action so you can see that I have defined one output for empty output variable and in this variable I'll be holding the response and I'll be returning it via the script include 
can see that rest all is same as per the previous script usage. What I'll have to do next is I'll have to create a UI action. I've also created the UI action. Click on ask. If I'll just click on this. You can see that. So name of the UI action is ask. That is a client callable. Now I have created this ask function on click. So this function will be called when I'll click this ask UI action. So if you see that I have called that script include from this glide via glide ajax where I have used this function demo test. I have provided the backend field value name which is u underscore input. I am using get XML answer to uh, to retrieve the response from the script include and then I'll be converting I'll be parsing that response and I'll be setting into the output field value. So if you just just check that name u underscore input and u underscore output. You can see that so I don't need to do anything. I just click on save. It got safe. Now I just need to check whether it is working fine or not. So I'll just give some random prompt and let's see if it gets response or not. Yes, we got the response. You can see that in the output section. So I'll just provide some more prompts. What is the difference between Service now and SAP. I'll click on ask again. You can see that we got the new response, which is service now and SAP, both are enterprise software companies. So here we are. So we have set up an integration between service now and the Gemini API.